Hey, bonjour, Kirby Jambon here. Uh, this is the com English language companion video to go along with the, uh, the video uh, of sources of inspiration for my third book, Chercher la Chasse Femme. So just to explain a little bit in English about the inspirations for this book, again, uh, for those of you who are kind of in the process of learning French or learning how to read French, I'm just going to explain a little bit in English to help you along, but you might still enjoy uh, using the book to help you with your French. Um, Chasse la chasse femme translates to looking for the midwife or searching for the midwife in Louisiana French. Chasse femme is the word for midwife in Louisiana French. You might also hear chaste femme, which would be... So chasse femme looks, sounds like hunting woman. Uh, chaste femme would be chaste woman. Internationally, in some parts of Louisiana as well, you might hear sage femme, which is wise woman. So all of those are terms used for the uh, a midwife. Uh, I used chasse femme because I like the idea of searching, and uh, I play also with the idea of sage femme because sometimes we're searching for wisdom. But the idea of uh, chasse la chasse femme was to explore the idea of how do we bring life into the world, what thing, the things which bring life into the world, the people who bring life into the world, um, the experiences which bring us life and uh, which bring life to us, and how we should approach that life, how we should care for that life, and not claim that life. And there's also this idea, as I talked about, of chasing, hunting, looking for wisdom in our in our daily moments of our life. And so, and again, the pub book is published by the Edition Tantamar in um, Shreveport, Centenary College. Uh, the cover art was done by my good friend and poet and artist, Claire Martin. It's called Gestation. The presentation in the back was written by, by my good friends, Amanda Lafleur and Brenda Mounier wonderful Louisiana French activists and wonderful women. And one of the ideas you're going to see with the title, with me selecting women to be a part of the book with me, it's like, it's one of the things my wife said as well, is that this book seems to explore your feminine side. And I think there's a lot into, you're going to see in the book that explores the feminine side. There's goddesses, there's poems about my grandmother, about my wife, about my daughter. There's poems about, um, there's uh, poems which focus on a birth, uh, giving birth. There's poems which, uh, um, which is even a poem called The Feminine of the Masculine. So there's all these different type of poems that are there. So those are some of the things we'll see in, um, in the book. The book, as all my books, is organized into chapters. The first chapter and the first chapter of the book is called, the first chapter of the book is called uh, A la Chasse des Moments, uh, which means um, on the, to, on, to the hunt uh, hunting uh, moments, and it's and it says it's written from the heart of fall to the first traces of spring. As, so this, this, that was the kind of the s seasonal time period where I wrote most of these poems. You'll see poems in this thing where we actually I'm trying to find inspiration from each moment of life. Some are inspir inspired by specific ideas. Some are simply inspired about my feel. Like the first poem, just shout shout did. I'm trying to to be honest. I begin by saying I'm trying to be honest to what's within me, but I'm also realizing that you know I don't even I don't I'm not sure I know myself well enough to do that. Um, there's a poem called. Um, there's a poem called uh, La Bonne Vie Amie, which it has a messenger in it, or a passenger, messenger, someone who's uh, inspiring us. And again, it's seen as a feminine person as well. And, and then um, uh, as we, in, in this passenger, messenger, we see on a train ride. So it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, there's a poem here that talks about, um, begins with a wolf. It's called My Little Wolf is Called Karma. It was actually written about my little dog. But um, in this poem, it talks about how the um, uh, little wolf... Um, Howls and barks and cries morning and night to be freed from the cage, the cage that we build around us all. And so it was inspired by my idea when we were training my little dog when he was in his little kennel. And um, But it's also the idea of what do we build the cage we built around us as well. And what I want to point out is that in this book there, wolf theme continues throughout the book. And in the second chapter, there's going to be a poem about a female wolf, a she-wolf, um, who disguises herself as a, a, as a man. Uh, and an artist. Um, yeah, it's kind of strange, but uh, but eventually the she-wolf and the little wolf was in the cage meet each other and they realize some things that they know each other from some kind of way. And then there's a couple other poems where the little wolf and the, they meet and what happens to them in their interaction. So it's a little thing that began and I wasn't, wasn't planned. It was something that came along and I began with that. Um, you're going to see uh, ideas of, of, of mythology. There's a here, this one is Meduse Tet uh, coupe decapite pega zene. It's, about, so it's the title says Medusa with her head cut off and decapitated, and then Pegasus is born. And it talks about the birth of creativity. The birth of creativity. Um, there's another poem about um, 
uh, which is about Orion and Sophia, uh, and how Orion the hunter must become like Sophia, the goddess of wisdom. And, uh, and in that poem, it sp explains a lot about the themes in the book of how we need to lay down our, uh, our defenses and to bring life into the world and to allow this life to, to seek its own destiny. In the second uh, chapter, there's this uh, it's called Rencontre des Muses de Lou, is uh, meeting muses and wolves. Um, and again, the theme of wolves is there. Muses, of course, you know, we know the term, the, the goddess, they got uh, these div kind of divine inspirations. And um, it basically what it was, it was a, during a 24 hour period, the day before April Fools, I read a poem and I wrote a poem, read a poem and I wrote a poem. And they're all, the poems are listed um, here more or less in the order that I wrote them, I think. But in the back, I, have, I, I list uh, the poems, uh, what the poems were that inspired those poems, and uh, the, the poet and the poem. And they're, um, so, but I live that, list that in alphabetical order, so uh, it's up to you if you want to figure out which poem what inspired the other poem that I wrote. You know? The third ch chapter is called Accouchement, and in that third chapter, it's, Accouchement means like the giving birth, and different ways that we give birth, and these are all poems about how we give birth into the world, how... Uh, how that happens. Um, there's poems about, um, um, there, in some of the poems you're going to hear the little things in italics, those are things that are meant to be sung or rapped in some sense as well. And then uh, the chapter after that is called La Sagesse pour son aller, which is the courage to, to go away, which is this whole concept of how the midwife, in a sense, never claimed a life, but laid this life into the arms of the mother. And I think we need to do that with all life in our world. Even our, even our children, our, our, our children, the life we bring as children, we have to realize that they, they have their own destiny and own, own, own uh, life to live in this world. Uh, so um, as a, as a, as a, father and a teacher, I, 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 some, something I've come through experience to understand or at least try to understand. And then there's a final chapter, Alanyap, which means a little something extra, where I wrote some poems during the time period of the Festival International, and they're kind of inspired by that. And some of these poems are also, there's videos of some of these poems, me reading some of these, these poems in the book already in the YouTube channel, in my playlist, Me Poem, My Poems. So, so just a little description again, if you're interested again in getting a book, um, you can, the book is located uh, through uh, Les Editions Tatama. The website is located on the About section here on my YouTube channel. And also, if you're able to make a donation for um, promoting, uh, in order to help me promote, put out more videos, you can uh, uh, PayPal or Venmo me there, and I appreciate that. But even if, if you can't, that's totally fine. I just appreciate you tuning in and supporting uh, supporting uh, what we do in Louisiana, supporting Louisiana French, and supporting me. And, um, you know, everybody be safe, okay? And uh, until the next time, soin vous autres, soin les autres. Y'all take care, take care of each other. Au revoir.